gentlemen and welcome back to fireside for tonight we've got the fireside spring cup brought to you in part by manco.store the premier tf2 marketplace for buying and selling items with real cash type exclamation manco store and use our affiliate link to support both us and manco.store when you buy tf2 items on manco.store and also if you get a little bit of extra cash cashing out there on manco.store why not join fireside memberships today by typing exclamation subscribe in the chat Subscribers have access to VIP badge on all of our Twitch channels, unreleased and uncut content, production guides, and early access to upcoming videos. So that's exclamation menco and exclamation subscribe in the chat. I'm number one rocker with Peak on Production, and I'm joined in the booth tonight by the lovable Zach. Good to have you back, buddy. How you doing? I am so excited. I'm ready to cast some Froyo versus GCI today. Uh, yeah. I'm excited to see how GCI plays. Didn't get to see it yesterday, unfortunately. Yeah. But um, today is a new day. Uh, unfortunately, they're kind of getting uh, trolled a little bit. Uh, their actual first game getting casted against Froyo. Uh, I, do, I am confident in their players, though. They all have a lot of uh, competent people. And I don't think that uh, they're going to struggle all too much. But it is definitely going to be a fight uh, to see who gets every single round. Yeah, well, all the same. Got basically two weeks lined up of 66 action with invite teams like Froyotech and GC and GCI. Um, and yeah, this is the group stages for now. So we're doing two maps. And yeah, first first week is group stages and following week is playoffs and all that good stuff. So yeah, a lot of stuff lined up for you. Keep it locked here on Fireside. And yeah, we'll be sure to produce. We're just waiting for uh, information to come through, join up. But uh, in the meantime, uh, yeah, what do you make of all the teams we got here? Got a lot of them, too, besides the three I just listed. Uh, what do you take of it? I mean, I, I'm happy to see there's a lot of teams coming back mm. just to play in this cup. I mean, sure. Global Clan and Global Clan Ice, obviously, I, I feel like it was kind of expected. Just because, I mean, they're kind of everywhere. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Like a G6 coming back, though, is definitely a treat. Oh, uh, yeah. Playing in the Cup. And then also, I think, playing in the season. I checked the uh, league table mm -hmm. the other day, and I saw G6 was on the uh, table. So uh, hopefully we'll get to see some actual in-season G6 on top of uh, the Fireside Cups. Um, I guess I guess we'll see uh, how that shakes out. But um, for now, I think it's just... Um, we're waiting to see who can... Uh, Drop the fattest bombs, the fattest nukes in this uh, <laughs> in this cup here. So 
uh, yeah. enough about the season. Uh, focusing on the cup, I don't know. I don't actually remember the other teams that are in here. I don't. Uh, let me try and find the other teams here. Oh, here we go. Uh, Mafia's in here. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Estrogen took my homies in here as well. Oh, the comeback. Anglerfish. Uh huh. Hamsterdam is in here. Okay, so a lot of teams that I recognize, but also some that I don't. I don't mm -hmm. really recognize Aluminium Wage, Fjord Gaming, C Tap to Work. That's a fire name. <laughs> 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 but um yeah i, I recognize a, a good few of these names here uh, a couple teams that i've seen uh before just uh browsing through the league standings and watching some casts so uh don't know too much about the players that aren't on the big teams of course but um there are a lot of people that i think will show up and actually put a good fight up uh against not just froyo but g6 and all these other teams that have been here so long they've actually proved themselves they proved that they belong to be or the title of like top sixes teams belongs to them so for sure uh yeah lots of teams here but the probably the biggest thing here is the 750 dollars prize pool for uh for the contestants here it's a pretty hefty chunk of change for first place so uh yeah lots to uh lots to look forward to and it's the off season, so yeah, probably time to have fun, goof around, maybe not take it too seriously, but that prize money is there, so you know, something to keep in mind. Can't beat it. True. I would if I were here, I would be playing all out. I would be going <laughs> in like crazy. That big old hunk of change for first place, mm. I would absolutely be taking that. I would absolutely three hundred and seventy five dollars. Three hundred and seventy five for first place, yeah, that's that's not bad at all. It's uh yeah, if you've just got your six players. But um yeah, still waiting on this connect. Uh, <laughs> just, just it's a typical snap. But you know, it wouldn't be TF2 if we didn't start out on time, right? So true, true. It is six's time. Oh, they're figuring out the maps. Great, great, <laughs> oh, great. God. Well, uh, it is just two, so it shouldn't take that terribly long. And uh, mm -hmm. I didn't really uh, see how how it was uh, charted up, but I'm assuming it's uh, three points per win. So, uh, some, yeah, some I, I would like assume that. so. It, we're and, using um, this. Uh, what, who are we using for this tournament? Is uh, uh, yeah, I think if you type a uh, bracket, the thing shows up. I think isolation point bracket, indeed. Yeah. So uh, each win, I think, gets you three points here because mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure every team has uh, at least one round one, so they're getting three points each. All of them have three right now, so. Things are looking uh, pretty interesting here. It's even across the board, which I honestly did not expect to be the case. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is not a best of two. It is just a two-map series. People are playing for points here, I would assume, to get uh, good seating for the playoffs that will inevitably happen. Um, it's, I think, three points per round win and oh. um oh i see okay yeah 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 that makes a lot more sense right now again it's it's even across the board right now um everybody's got three so today could very much see uh, another set of uh one round for uh each or i guess one map for each team i guess is a better way to describe it each map win is three points and um i'm it, it very definitely could be another day where we're seeing um every team just get another three points added because again all of these players are very strong they know what they're doing um and i feel like they absolutely can put up a fight with these big teams here oh absolutely yeah and looking at these uh brackets yeah this uh this group one is pretty balanced as far as things go you know i'm used to like the world cup uh group stages and there's certain groups of death and i'm a croatia fan and they usually get put in those so yeah group one <laughs> looking pretty stacked uh group two um yeah i think i think that one might be more so the group of death uh g Force amsterdam yeah don't don't know them but uh they are up ahead pretty hefty amount but um yeah i'd say group one is someone to look at though if you're really interested in so we do have connect uh, going to be joining up pretty soon, and if all things remain the same, it looks like it's going to be Gullywash with this first map. My my personal favorite. Or Gullywash. no? Or wait, is this no? This is the, this is Silver Scrim. Okay, never mind. 
Oh, this is still their stream? Okay. Oh, yeah, because the score is still... Okay. <laughs> no, don't get my guts up, because seriously, say. you know me, man. I love I love Gully Wash, because, you know, people say to me, oh, you're a medic, how could you like Gully Wash? I'm like, I don't know, it reminds me of a Quake map, and I love Quake, so what's not to like? That's fair, to be honest. I, I, I just hate Gully. I play Soldier, and I hate Gully. Like, I, I, <laughs> okay, this map the just weird one. isn't fun. And I, like, I, don't, I don't get it. Maybe it's because, like, a lot of the times I haven't had much of, like, a, a strong combo and being a part of said combo like right. it kind of comes in it, it 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 comes to troll me every single time i want to play this map mm. yeah but, no uh, I mean, flanks the, are pretty big on this map so you got to have at least yeah. one doorway locked down but yeah i think the few times i have had a strong combo here uh the map is actually very enjoyable my uh season 13 team mm -hmm. uh for am was actually super strong and it I still didn't like Gully all that much, but I didn't hate it as much as I do now. <laughs> so there's definitely something to say about having a well-coordinated, I guess well-coordinated team in general, but mm -hmm. more so having a strong uh, combo just because, um, like you said, the flanks are so important here. Right, big rotates. Yeah, it, like insane rotates. Like mm -hmm. if you, this is one of those mids, or Gully is one of the mids where like you can't sit in and wait for like anything yeah, to happen you it, have to take it into them and if yeah, you lose a player you have to leave instantly yeah the man fight on this map is kind of a tall order if you're at the lower levels there because yeah you, you kind of have to bust through that choke otherwise you're not really gonna have a lot of opportunity to see literally anything so yeah um but looking at it do we have the maps oh it is metalworks and sunshine so another map that i love metalworks um used to hate it but uh, it grew on me in the last, oh, I don't know, four or five years when I realized that uh, you know, the game gets better the less bad you are at it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, I, yeah, that makes sense. It does tend to suck less when you suck less. Mm -hmm, <laughs> it, mm -hmm. it is a, there is a relationship there. Well, it's, it's somewhat reminiscent of, of Gully Wash, I guess you could say, because you have the pretty big you know, flank opportunities. You could go through house, you could go through uh, Valley. You know, but um, yeah, the, they they changed it up a bit from the uh, ten years that it's been around, right? At least something like that. I remember seeing yeah. ESCA matches, and I'm like, "What map is this? I've never seen this one before." And yeah, changed it up a bunch and uh, made it something uh, presentable, unlike the other map, Sunshine, which took uh, thirty iterations to get right. I still <laughs> I still have a grudge against Sunshine because of how many iterations it took to finally get it right. It always confused me because when people talk about, and you're not the first person I've heard talk about this either with Sunshine being mm -hmm. like so horrible to get correct. Don't they just use the Val version of Sunshine now? Like uh, every single time it's just CP underscore Sunshine. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because uh, I mean, seriously, it, if, if it takes you 30 times, the final better be Valve certified. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like. Because iteration is their namesakes. I mean, it kind of makes sense, you know? True. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, just the, the fact that second used to have, like, a huge frickin' arch instead of dungeon at one point, they just walked, it just didn't make, I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm just glad it, they finally settled on it, you I know? I really want to go through, like, some of these older maps, or some of these new maps, dude, and find their, like, really old versions just to see, like, yes. how horrible they used to be. <laughs> well, I wish there was an archive of some of the older maps because there are definitely some gems there that were played for maybe, I don't know, two or three seasons at most, back from 2008 to 2010. And you see them in old frag clips, you know, back when you couldn't get above 360p on YouTube. And you're like, <laughs> what the hell map is that? You know, and I just wish there was an archive early. At least, you know, go back into the ECA archives and just see what maps they actually were. Because if there's one map that I wish was brought back from 2010, it would be CP Follower because that's like a, a mishmash of um like badlands and granary the two maps most people hate now but trust me it works trust I'm, me dude totally you know what map i think they should add mm. what's what's that one map that combines like five maps into one uh mge Where's... chili punch <laughs> no not not mge <laughs> okay. it's the it's the map where i think the mid is like snake water then second is gully or it might be badlands i don't know i think it's like each point is like its own like part of the map or something. It's like a separate map inside of the map. 
I forget what it's called though. That sounds vaguely reminiscent of Faller because it's like the mid of of Badlands. The second's kind of weird, but the internal part is kind of like uh, Granary Second, and then the last is basically Granary Last because it's a huge open area and shutters on other side and the uh, points all all the way back at the spawn. So yeah. Oh, CP Chad is the map. Really? <laughs> yeah, CP Chad. The oh, last okay. is Snake Water, second is Badlands and Gully. <laughs> the mid is just process mid. <laughs> I'm guessing based on the name. A vent. It's a newer one. Okay, yeah, this is very new. Okay. And then lobby is gully lobby. <laughs> this is not the map to play if you have dementia. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and I am one of those people, so this is not the map for me. Amen. If I got to cast the CP Chad game, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be displeased. I'd be for, I'd be elate with joy. What the I would hell be... do they do to this second that I'm looking at here? I can't tell <laughs> if it's Granary or 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 uh, Gully Wash. What the hell? Yeah, it's like a mixture of like I, like it's so weird. I hate it personally. It's, I would hate playing it. But it's weird seeing Snake Water in like bright, you know, midday lighting. Yeah, I'm. I don't like the snake water last. It makes me feel weird seeing it in bright, like, Actually, process level lighting. Warm front. Why don't they bring back warm front? I really don't get the hate for that map. Every time I've brought it up for, like, a pug, like, ah, screw you. I'm like, dude, have you even played it? It's not that bad. Not that I bad. think it's because everybody hates cold front because the map is, like, structured so poorly yeah. that, like, even if you get the actually, like, decent one that isn't a blinding white everywhere, people just... <laughs> like equate it to the casual version uh -huh. and nobody wants to play it because of that which i think is why a lot of people don't want to didn't want to initially play maps like um like uh probably like reckoner and for a mm, while granary because yeah yeah, yeah Re when they that. added reckoner to the pool i noticed like everyone in their grandma have just started like <laughs> complaining left and right about everything about it and like I just, people who I knew used to enjoy it started complaining the moment it got added to casual. So it's, it's an eyesore, honestly. It reminds me of the remake that they did for uh, Counter Strike Go for DE season. They just spruced it up with these like bright neon colors and gave it like a vaguely Japanese aesthetic. And it's like, why? It's it. It reminds me of like sulfur, and that's not a good thing because that map sucks. <laughs> well, it's named sulfur. Yeah, it probably doesn't smell good either. <laughs> honestly, it probably doesn't. There's like. So much boiling water just everywhere on that map. Oh, wait, like, is that that weird, like, Koth hybrid map? Yeah, it's the weird, oh, like, yeah. imagine steel, but, like, 40 times worse and not good and horrible and bad. Yeah, that, that one that one is a doozy. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know the thought process behind that one either. I, I'm not a fan of Sulphur, to be honest with you. I saw it get added, and I was like, what in God's name is this map? What am I playing on right now? This I, I think, is not TF2. <laughs> I think if you really want to in, in, induce an aneurysm in somebody and make them go, this isn't TF2, make them play CP Standin. Oh, God. I, I'm a, I, I personally don't mind it because I understand how the cap points work. It's like you, you just have to be the first to cap three. It doesn't matter if you're already starting a back cap. You know, and that's the thing that people get tripped up on. It's like, oh, but I was back capping. How is it not a stalemate or, you know, overtime or whatever? But no, that, that, that's a blast from the past. They haven't played that one since legitimately like 2000. So I think the season I first started in, in UGC Steel, the season before was the last one they played stand-in. So yeah, it was on its way out even when I started. I'm kind of sad I joined at like such a late time in TF2 comp because I knew it was a thing beforehand, like many, 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 many years ago when I was a wee young lad. Mm. I knew it was a thing. But I never got into it because I felt like I wouldn't be good enough for it, which at the time I definitely <laughs> oh, wasn't good enough for it. Oh, don't don't let that stop you, man. It hasn't stopped me. It hasn't stopped plenty of other people before. Well, the thing is, is that it was in like 2016 when I like first got the game. Oh my I, god! I was watching people like play Sixes and Highlander before like I had even done anything with the game. I'm pretty sure I was watching like Froyo like ESCA championship like casts. And all that stuff going on before I actually played TF2 myself. So it, this is before they even have like the newbie cup or anything like that. To, yeah, like, yeah. Help yeah. new players get into it. So I I had nothing 
Well, they've basically. always had like like they've, they've always had newbie mixes, but yeah, you kind of had to go out of your way to sort of look for it and know know somebody who knew somebody because it wasn't as easy as Discord. You know, you had to know a guy, probably go on a Steam page and then join a Mumble. Yeah, which at the time. I had no idea what a mumble was, and I looked it up because I I also didn't understand how like the internet worked. Because when I say I was like a wee young lad, I was a young lad. <laughs> like, uh, I I didn't get internet in my house like uh, uh, regularly until 2010, so I I, I totally get it. <laughs> like, and, and I had Windows 98 on my computer until 2009. Oh my so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, I got Lord. a laptop for school, and I was like, ah, oh, so this is the future. <laughs> this is technology at its finest its peak if you will mm. well it seems like we have 12 players on the server so let's quick run down these uh rosters real quick shall we um sure uh which one which team did you want to steal away before By all we means it is your pick anything. my friend it's all uh, you all right well i think i've got to steal the froyo tech roster away oh, from you <laughs> Um, for your Freya Tech lo roster, on Pocket Scout, you have Gungan. On Flank, you have Yite. On Roamer, you have Saxophone. On Pocket, you have Banny. Pocket Soldier, I should say. On Demo, we have the Lord and Savior of Demo himself, Habib. And for men, delicious. we have Hubida. <laughs> and over on the DCI side, as we get going, we have Shamu and Rakuso on the scout. Sin Karma, of course, on demo. Dank is on the medic. Paul Dog and Kryptonite will be your soldiers. Take it away for this first mid on CP Motorworks, my man. Absolutely. Let's take a little gander at this right now. It's just, um, I think actually Freya might have a little bit of a slower rollout going on. People way weaker on this side. Actually, never mind. I stand corrected. The demo for uh, GCI, I think, is going to be way slower. It's going to be Vanny bombing into Paul Dog here. He's going to knock him all the way back to the pack, and that's going to be a soldier out of the fight. But Vanny's going to get rushed down by Shamu. He's living on 7 HP. He's finally going to get that pack of Alter Fire. so weak. It's going to be basically equal health, though. It's going to be Paul Dog getting bombed by Zax and a uh, cleanup from Yai. Kryptonite sitting over here on the red crate. But uh, Freyo Tech going to be backing out through Alley here, not wanting to stay in and uh, lose any more players. Just going to live. Keep their meta alive on two and uh, hold with even Ubers. Yeah, Habib got locked out of house like almost instantly. He wasn't able to come out and have any impact at all. Waited for the pack and house. And yeah, by the time he came back out, the rest of his team was weak and he died in the process. And so Ooh, yeah. Down goes Kryptonite. Yeah, Kryptonite picked away the house. So, Royo actually on the front foot, chasing GI out of alley. Saxophone going to come in and try to make a move. Waiting for his team to get in. Decides to jump out. He's stuck on the rock, though. Ah, very unfortunate. But there Uber is a pop out. off. And thanks, gonna use his Uber, get forced oh, off. Yite drops in this though, but um, GCI has dropped uh, three players, well, two players actually, and uh, they're just gonna have to leave mid here. They they can't hold this. They're gonna have to leave. Honestly, they might have to back all the way out to last. I mean, I don't think you could really hold this all too well on full this ad. Certainly not. And yeah, keeping with that momentum. Actually, here comes the bomb from Paul Dog trying to catch you off timing. Thinks better of it. Actually, it's gonna be Kryptonite going for the real thing. Caught on oh, top Kryptonite of the shot and just killed by Gungan. That means that. Freytech's gonna have free reign to move in with the saxophone clearing out the shutter. And yeah, GCI backed out to last year, but Dank is sitting at 50% Uber and Shamu Ooh. up on the gun. Vanny, I think taken down to a trap or, or something. I looked away for two seconds and he died instantly, so <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. But um, I'm assuming he died to a trap here. That's gonna be a free pick for Sin Karma, and uh, that's gonna force Freytech into a pretty bad position here. They might have wanted to take this Uber in a little aggro and just push off of that ad they had, but. Now they're forced into a poor position Ooh. of even Ubers on metal last here. So uh, definitely going to be a situation where we're just waiting for Froyo to uh, try and pull something out and um, make something happen here. Because, I mean, if you're GCI, all you got to do is chill out for a little bit. And that's going to be Saxophone doing a high bomb right on in, missing the first rocket onto the med. Oh, gonna be wow. Ducking now under the point. Dank going to live with full HP and Ubers still. Froyo going to be dropping both Habib or sorry, both Saxophone and Yite uh, for that uh, play. Kryptonite going to be the only one on GCI going down. And uh, right now, GCI, I think, is going to be pushing into the lobby, trying to take as much space as possible. Actually, no okay. counter! going to be taking down Sin Karma with the help of Gungan. Nice play from Froyo there. Very important pick to have 
if you want to push in. I think we're in a pause <laughs> right now. <laughs> I think I think we can ascertain what's <laughs> happening here. But yeah, no, that's a really unfortunate pick. Sin Karma just got caught in, and you know, Bandy took that aggression pretty early. And I don't know if you saw the demo or not, but either way, it ends up in a demo pick. And yeah, even Ubers, but uh, would rather have Sin Karma if I were GCI. Absolutely. I mean, with 28 seconds left on the clock here. Um, at least I think that's what's left on the clock. I don't no, know if no, my no. Uh, HUD well, is breaking. There's well over 2 minutes 45, I think. Ah, my HUD is broken, I see. So, yeah, they've got time, but, uh, yeah, that demo pick is going to allow Froyotech to come in and uh, get the uh, sack off, have a little bit better of a go that time, because, yeah, last time saxophone went in. Decently high bomb off the back wall, but Dank just managing to escape completely in touch, like you said. Uh, almost lost his demo and soldier oh. because of it, but, uh, yeah, still holding on to that Uber, and it's... Coming in handy here because uh, they're going to need it because Sin Karma is still on like an 8 second respawn by the time they unpause. And they and they unpaused briefly there, so it actually might have been a connection rather than attack pause, but we'll have to see here as we go live. Unpause. Sin Karma still on that respawn. Roy are just going to try to inch in and see if they can get the sack off. Definitely. I'm going to let you take uh, control of this last Oh, indeed. Uh, Fanny's in on here. Shamu already. So that's an MG dead. Gun is in the standard hold spot. And actually, Fanny manages to get the force onto Dank. So very nicely done. He gets the MG pick and the force. Gun's still up, but Royo's going to be able to come in with the full Uber. Paul Dog trying to do something. Goes behind. Gun can get in the rage onto the point. Lots of cap time. And now it's a good old fashioned brawl on this last point. Kryptonite getting some spam rockets off. And Royo's just. Ooh, regrouping, catching himself. Sin Karma, though, off the respawn. Gets a kill, but taken quickly down by Saxophone. But Shamu's going to clean him out and trade out. And so we have a three down for Froyotech. Dank with a slight Uber advantage. And actually, Penny meeting them in the shutter. Gets an arrow from his med. Shamu going to come in from the left side, however, and going to take him down. Now it's a double Ooh. scout on Habib. And yeah, it's just going to be uh, Habida running away. But guys, yeah, there to secure him. But a cheeky little shot past the scout. He's going to see Hubba to die, and it's going to be Mass Uber at SGCI. He gets the second point back. Amazing fight. Absolutely. Very good. Uh, very good counterplay here from GCI. Uh, I was very happy to see them just absolutely demolish it, shred these people, really. I mean, they're getting so much value, so much damage out of their plays here. So, very good to see this. Uh, good to see that it's not already a round lost with uh, how much is going on. Okay, there, we, there was the pause. And so, yeah, it was a timeout, so it was a uh, technical pause. So either right. way, uh, Froyotech is on their second off of a nice swing from GCI. Dank managing to get force in the meantime. Uh, so it will be Hubbard up with the mm, roughly 20% Uber advantage. Both teams just building hard right now. Trying to edge each other out. Bit of a stalemate, though. Uh, and yeah, still 0-0, zero to zero, five minutes gone. Absolutely. Five minutes off that clock here. I mean, if you're a Froyo right now, you're kind of sitting there like, man, how did we lose that last? I think right now their biggest concern is, you know, they want to get that Uber, but they also want to figure out what, what happened, how they can uh, fix their push for next time. Because I feel like we're going to see a quick little conversion uh, from being all the way on to their second towards uh, GCI second here. The Ubers are going to even out, and it does look like we have a soldier inside of Alley here. Just trying to get some uh, info, clearing those stickies away, if there even were any there. Couldn't see. My game is broken beyond repair right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's just uh, GCI chilling out inside of a uh, valley here. Looks like their whole combo going to be coming through. So, we might see a, uh, a fight happen uh, sometime here soon. And it's a bomb coming in right on to Hubba. Oh! One rocket into the air. Lives, he serves it. He lands on top of the scout, though. The scout doesn't turn around. He didn't know where he was. Getting the free pick onto the scout. That's two people down for GCI. Just trading out with Sax. Yeah, Rakusa went in trying to follow up the damage, but he didn't know where Hubba to landed. He landed on top of the little uh, uh, utility door there, I guess. Yite taking down Paul Dogs. It's still two down for GCI and a brawl here in the house. GCI forcing their way through. Dank still holding onto this Uber. Pulling onto second Kryptonite, taking the fight with Gung in the pocket scout. Could go down if he's not careful here to the spam rocket from a distance. Oh. Shamu trying to come oh. up against cleaned up by Yite. I don't know what that feed was. Now Dank backing out with Sin Karma and Rakuso. Kryptonite caught in the house. And it's just a feed fest for GCI. I, I don't think that was part of the plan at all. Froyo walking in through Alley. Yite pressuring the rest of GCI back into their house. They're just going to be uh, chilling over here on the point. Nothing, uh, nothing big has to come out of any of these teams right now. 
Uh oh. He, I oh, think no, he's, he's just, just checking. checking. Nope, he's uh, back. He's back. All right, we're we're good. No spy plays yet. No spy plays yet. <laughs> That'd be wild to see Vanny on spy this early. Yeah, this early with 23 something minutes left in the game still. It's off That'd season, man. You got you got to experiment a bit, right? Play on like Vanny, Vanny for Vanny. Right? True, right, true. Right, right. Gungan pressuring forward just a little bit, trying to get some spam, and that's going to be sacked. Bombing in right over the med. One rocket! Nice damage, but it's not going to be quite enough. He is going to live there. Uber still in his hands. But with double that guy's health, though, they could easily go back in and try and take out Dank. Uh, all they need is one good bomb, but unfortunately, with Sax being dead, uh, I don't think they're going to want to take that risk right now. They've also. Um, oh. I believe forced that Uber out right mm -hmm. there, so they're just going to be backing out through alley here, going to play around their house by rock, maybe even back all the way out to mid here, which it looks like they are going to do. And uh, that's going to be, I mean, not as much of a conversion as I had initially thought, but we might see a nice little refight come in here, some good aggression, uh, absolutely possible. It's going to be Sax over here trying to spam through the little doorway and uh, make as much space as possible without trying to go too far in. And... Um, yeah, we're just watching them uh, foster up inside of uh, Alley here. Sax is going to go down. He is going to die. Uh, and that's going to be one less soldier. But Benny's going to get the pick onto Shamu here. And that's going to be... Dank is actually caught out on the right side. He's caught on Shutter. But he manages to get away just in time. One soldier going down. Oh, Benny no. going to trade out for that soldier there. Oh, no. It's a demo bomb into the alley. And the force comes out. Habib not getting much damage onto the... <laughs> this is so awkward. This is so oh, awkward. Hubbard no. has to live here. Dank with 80% Uber. You know, it might not even be close to Uber himself, but any consolation. Saxophone coming in huge off the roll. And just like that, it's three down for GCI. Paw Dog coming in off the respawn. Dank sitting with 100% Uber, but GCI has no demo. And Freya's going to be coming in through lower here, seeing what they can get. But Dank's right on top of them. They're going to jump down, trying to get this Uber off. And right out of the gate, they get Habib with the further aggression, the double scout chase. Hubbada with Gungan and Banny on top of the point. Dank actually going a bit ahead of his scouts here. Lives with just 15 HP. Saxophone taking out Sin Karma in the meantime. But Dank will not live to see another day. Does die in the end. So it will be a massive Uber ad for Hubbada. But Habib and Saxophone are down. Habib just now coming off the respawn. And it will be a fight through house. Banny's going to take him through with the help of Gungan here pretty soon. And just like that, they back out GCI. Dank just now coming in. Off the respawn, Hubbada sitting at 90% Uber. This is about as easy of a roll to last as you could ask for here for Froyotech. Getting that cap down on a second, Hubbada Uber in hand. They've got a heavy up for GCI, but no gun. Shamu's got to get that buff before Froyo comes around that corner. Looks like they'll be coming through main. And here we go, got to be holding on to that Uber. Gungan taking down the sentry gun, now Uber pop. Oh, but there's a soldier the high bombing in from behind. It's going to be right on top of that scout. One HP, he lives! Air shot from Danny. That's so much cap time with a point. Gun yeah. going to be adding that out. They're not even going to be able to stop him, and they're no. just going to steal that round away. 1-0 in Froyo's favor. And yeah, after 10 minutes, finally, Froyo first on the board. GCI just lost players there. They couldn't quite kill Yite living with one HP, and yeah, the rest of them backed out to spawn, and that gave Gungan ample room to just sit on the point and cap it out. This point to Froyo. And that's uh, 10 minutes off the timer here, so uh, we're going to be sitting here for a little bit longer. 10 minutes for that first round is a little bit awkward. Uh, that's surprising, yeah. GCI absolutely putting up a good fight. Fanny going to be getting some nice space on the mid here, but he is going to take a lot of damage. Sax also taking a, a whole bunch of damage here. He's going to actually back all the way out here, try and get some packs. It's going to be Fanny going all the way back behind the house. The mid is basically over for Froyo right now. He'll be going to be dying uh. for a nice stick. And, uh, yeah, they're out of here. They're gone. Nice rocket onto the med. And it's going to be another soldier following up onto Hubbada here. But Hubbada is going to manage to back away. Froyo losing two there. Very unfortunate. Yites and uh, Habib going to be going down on that mid. But I do think they will be up in time to hold two. And, yeah, uh, Habib, once again, going to be the first to die for Froyo on that mid. But it's another brawl in the house. Man, he's taking pill before he leaves. And actually, the sticky from Sid Karma is going to fall up his own damage. And get the kill now two down both soldiers for froyo just to be able to hear to hold this choke in house rakusu coming all the way through alley and the rest of the combo sure oh no dang still in house just barely avoiding some uh lock and load from habib and yeah froyo managing to stall gci long enough to get their their spawns up and rolling out here even ubers on second sin karma rolling in through alley spawning things out the rest of his combo going to be behind him very shortly and yeah it looks like a standard hold on second yep just uh just your regular old 
Uh, Metalworks second hold here, but the combo does look like they're going to be pushing up through Valley. It's going to be a huge deep bomb coming in from mm. Kryptonite, but he is going to die for it. No damage coming out of it. It's going to be a scout walking across the point where Crusoe going to go down, but not before taking out Yai. Broyotech is going to be in the lead with players here. They could very easily walk out, which it looks like they're oh. going to do. They're trying to push in through house. And I don't think they know about the Paul Dog being so close. Oh. That's Paul Dog going down. Oh, no. The pop comes out. Gungan going to take him down. But he's also going to trade out for Shamu there. The Ubers trading the Ubers so much better for. Oh no, it's not. Because the Menace caught. Dank is going to go down. Vanny with the bomb right on top of the Menace. Just going to fade away like nothing ever happened. And that is a free mid for Froyo, oh, I think. Yeah, very nicely done. That was a massively better Uber for Froyo Tech. Uh, kept it out on Habib. Didn't flash a lot. So yeah, had a lot more juice to work with. And able to secure the mid and about 45-50% uber advantage as well. So certainly looking like it's Froyo's favor. They're going to be rolling this this momentum through. And yeah, Rakusa giving a bit of an early warning to his team. Dank just now coming up. Nobody back to meet him, however. Uh -oh. So it'll be a slightly, slightly more uber advantage. About 5%. But yeah, Rakusa did go back. Or Shemu went back for his mid. But uh, Froyo already put positioning and posturing in Alley. Giving a bit of a peek here. Kryptonite spotting from lower here. And yeah, just like you said, 50% Uber Revenge for Hubbita, so yeah, comfortable lead for Froyo. Basically just a repeat of what we saw a little bit, not even that long ago, we saw a regular old second hold, we're seeing another regular old second hold, nothing too crazy going on here, just the flank trying to spot up their valley here. Banny doing a nice bomb right into the shutter, gonna take down Paul Dog and Shamu with a finish off, and that's gonna be two players down. It's Paul, or Kryptonite, also gonna die inside of Lobby 3 down for Global Clan Ice here, Sin Karma, 90 HP, God Arrow, but not wow. clear enough, gonna be taken down. It's gonna be dead, barely able to live. Coming up on Pyro and taken down. Not there a whole lot go. for him to do besides come up on combat. And that makes it 2-0 for Froyotech here. Yeah, that second round went a lot quicker and that Uber was fantastic from Froyotech. How about it just popping his players through? Knew Dank didn't have it, so just free Uber basically. They knew they could get the frags. It seemed like it and get the frags they did and wipe on GCI uh, by the end of that Uber and yeah, what more could you ask for from Froyotech? They're looking good now. I think they're starting to find their swing here. Habib getting out to mid finally, not going to be the first to die, I hope. So, yeah, already looking better for Froyo on this third mid. Oh, big bomb coming in from Kryptonite. He's going to fade away, though, not quite able to do anything. Yike going to pick up two kills for this mid here, and it's going to be Paul Dog backing all the way out. Almost dying to Yike here, but uh, he is going to get arrowed by Dank. He is going to live here, and that is going to be an immediate mid win and a constant pressure. The Sack's going to be bombing in through Alley here, living inside of their lobby right now, just trying to be a nuisance Ooh. Behind them. Yikes and Hubbada just, I mean, Hubbada dying here is horrible if you're Froyo. It, I, I mean, Yite getting that pick on a Paul Dog, I believe just a little too late there. Yeah, Paul Dog's the one that got the, got Hubbada there. Very unfortunate. But uh, it's invite, so 50%, 50%, really, coin flip. Oh, Shamu's going to go down. Nice rockets from Banny, but he is going to be taken down by Sin Karma. It looks like uh, Global Clan is going to be posturing to push through lobby here. Saxophone going to drop here. Uber going to come out through the doorway, and it's just going to be Habib and Ooh. the rest of the Froyo family backing out through <laughs> house here. The Uber does come out for only two picks, which is really unfortunate if you're GCI, but I think you could make something out of this if you play your cards right. I mean, they are going to be posturing to hold pretty aggro on two here. It's going to be Paul Dog. It was some nice damage into the doorway. And um, I think we're just going to witness another uh, regular old uh, second hold, at least until Froyo can get their Uber up. Witness? Witness Gaming? What? Witness? <laughs> I don't know. Who said Witness? Oh, here we go. There's, there's an aggressive <laughs> Uber pop. That is very early. See if they can get the same success here on second. But uh, looks like it's just going to be Kryptonite here. Dank backing out with 70% Uber, or 80% Uber and 70 health. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Freya's going to have much time to rush this last, so they're just going to get second, play the Leapfrog. Kryptonite's going to be coming up soon enough, so uh, yeah, 40% for Hubbada. Th I think they thought they could maybe re replicate the success that they had on that last Uber, but it wasn't meant to be just getting one, and uh, yeah, certainly not the optimal Uber if Fanny is one to attest to that. Actually, coming in through Ramp Room, maybe? GCI? No, just a cheeky mm. peek, and now they're rotating back over to the lobby proper.
It's Banny sitting real close to the doorway there. Going to be backing out. Habib going to take out Bulldog oh. and Sex. Take out Shamu. Nice play by both of them. It's going to be the Uber through a doorway. Sin Karma. Little, little bit of a pencil bomb there, if I do say so myself. He's on 11 HP down below. He's going to get taken down by Banny. Nice rocket placed on him. Yike. Going to get taken down by, uh, I believe, a roller from Sin Karma. Oh. That's going to be Kryptonite going down. Gun going to be dying here uh, before the Uber even pops. It's Rikuso living behind Paul. Or, sorry. I believe. <laughs> No. <laughs> Paul Dog getting the, the escape plan kill. Oh. And actually that's a that's a Froyotech wipe. They failed that last push. So yeah, GCI hanging on by the skin of their teeth there. Gonna push out to second. Dank sitting with a pretty Uber advantage. Hubbard has yet, yet to link up with anybody. Gungan's got an eye on them, but he's gonna retreat back and GCI gonna get that second point back and I don't know how they flubbed it, but uh Froyotech did not win that one. Paul Dog getting the equalizer kill, stunting on him, and a bit of a meme play turns into uh, some real potential here for GCI, pushing out now. The Minecraft play won them that last, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> they were so close to losing, and Paul just said, all right, guys, I got this. No I think he was going for Habib, and then he just missed it, <laughs> Hubbard instead. Hey, man, we take those. We take Uber those. Uber is going to come out through Valley. It's going to be Sin Karma bombing in right into the doorway, but they're not going to get anything out of this. The Uber, it's poverty. It's a Uber. Saxophone going to die just outside of it. It might be a trade onto Kryptonite here, though. Maybe not. He is going to get out and link up with his med. The health for GCI oh. is kind of bad. A nice little bomb. Oh, Benny! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Somebody clip that on his stream. Oh, my God. <laughs> Decimated from the downward direct headshot <laughs> rocket. How confused are you, Benny? <laughs> Drops got chat. Oh my god, the health for Freud was so bad. And so many red players here. They need to chill out for a little bit. They don't have that soldier there to really spam these doorways out. I mean, they have Saxophone alive, but with Manny dead, the spam is just not quite what it could be. Saxophone getting spammed out. Uh, of doorway here and they're just gonna be chilling on mid gci waiting for their time to uh, uh push in two second which i believe will be sometime here soon if they decide they want to take this aggro which it looks like they're gonna want to do since wow. gonna be bombing forward nice bomb landing right into gungan here no damage most of the uber spent focusing down gungan and they don't even kill him the uber counter pop gonna come out Right on Yike here, Habib and Gungan gonna be taking out Shin Karma and Kryptonite. They're gonna be walking towards lower. Paul Dog gonna go down. It's gonna be Saxophone dying to Rakusa and Yike gonna be taking him down in a trade. That is a successful second hold and I believe a free mid for Froyo. GCI is gonna be forced into holding a second here. Might even be forced to back out all the way to last, but the Uber ad is looking in their favor, so I think they're gonna try and stick it. I, I can't help but notice just how early these pops are coming up from both teams. It seemed like it was a fluke the first time, but now it just seems more and more concert, concerted the more we're seeing these Ubers come out here. Just like straight, like two seconds behind the corner. And speaking of uh, uh, big plays, Kryptonite. Uh, double, double pause. The oh my. K sucks <laughs> oh, no. ah. oh my, it's a wipe. It's Jover. Wow. Sax, you can't be doing this to me, buddy. That's just, that's just too hype. You get into 4K like that? I, I, the, oh, man, this feels like an exhibition game for sure. But I'm loving it, man. Ten They're minutes to go. Up yet. Yeah, third third point for Froyo. That was just an absolute nuke from, from Saxophone, dude. Just hit the, uh, hit the, uh, the, uh, 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 oh, God, I can't think of the jazz song. Screw it. <laughs> anyway, three to zero. Um, yeah, Froyo Tech. It, it, it looks good when Habib's able to come out on mid and not and not die right away and get some presence there. So, yeah, Froyo Tech slowly walking away with it as to where GCI has some uh, catching up to do themselves here under 940 to go on the fourth mid all right I'm gonna be on the saxophone cam here I think I'm gonna detect a bomb coming straight in he's gonna bomb right onto the demo here's Sin Karma gonna go down nice rocket nice fall off from saxophone onto Sin Karma that's a lot of damage coming out it's gonna be Yike taking down Rakuso Gun is gonna be taking out Paul Dog that's a 3k for Froyo here Benny living behind somehow getting out I'm not sure how and that's gonna be Kryptonite <laughs> dying for being oh no aggro. oh good it's coming apart at the seams man just before our very eyes Already, they're not even cap second up, and it's just with beef. On GCI's last gun gets in deep, he's on the point, doesn't even have second yet. He gotta slow down, my man. <laughs> being caught here, though, he might die. 25 HP, 19. Now the scouts don't chase, though. That could have been a good pick to have if you were GCI, but uh, unfortunately, 
They're not going to follow through with that, but it doesn't matter. Soldier close though, sitting inside of Banana, going to get that force. It's going to be Kryptonite dying for that last hold, though. You can't be down that many players when you're holding last. And it's going to be Bandy bombing onto Rakuso. Nice damage from Habib, and they're going to edge that cap away, making it 4-0 in favor of Froyo right now. Take five. That was the song I was thinking of. Anyway, ah. yeah, 4-0, four, four almost take five for Froyo Tech here. 8.30 to go. And yeah, what looked like a slow start, 10 minutes for the first point for Froyo has turned into an avalanche of a roll here. Four to zero, coming out to the fifth mid. We're gonna see if GCI can find their Alamo last stand here. Everybody's out in the Alamo, but uh, don't worry about that right now. Habib taking some early damage. Could be the first to fall here. Replicating much like the first two rounds, but saxophone in oh, early. So is Jay, so is Benny. Oh With my the lord. 3k taking down the soldier, the demo, and the met. Or sorry, both soldiers and the met there. <laughs> and it's just Sin Karma, the last man uh -huh. alive on the mid. Cannot one man army that. It's going to be a late uh, spawn as well. He's not going to be alive for another 12 seconds here. This is really, really bad if you're GCI. You've got to pull something together <laughs> really, really quickly if you want to be able to hold this last. You've got seven minutes of match time left and three, about three minutes 45 left in the round timer. So I guess we're going to see how this goes. It is full oh, no. ad for Froyo Tech. They might try and make something happen here. I mean, I hope they, I hope they do. I, I don't think it'd be might. Fall dog, we need the escape plan kill again. No pressure. Paul Dog, please pull out the pickaxe. Just turn the on, bed. turn on the C418 album and pull out the pickaxe. All okay, right, you lost her on that me. one. You lost <laughs> on that what one. do you mean? Oh, Paul Dog getting sent into the sky. He is going to be alive inside of lobby, but he's not here to defend Banny that last. Peep. It's going to be Banny dropping outside of his Uber, and it's going to be no Uber for Froyo. They're going to have to leave here. They've dropped two players, and the Dank lives completely unscathed throughout that entire push. Gonna have 90 Uber here, and they're just gonna walk all the way out onto oh, two saxophone. here. Oh, yite. Oh, oh, no, got Cheeky in, in ramp room and smacked down by Kryptonite. But saxophone living. <laughs> and they wanna up on the train. <laughs> hey man, oh, he gets it. the train. It might not say he got the kill, but he got the train. Yeah, logs don't show space made and Certainly some space made here for GCI. They're walking through Alley here, but some perhaps from, ooh, Habib caught at the last second, but here's a bomb. The soldier bombing in, gonna be deleting, uh, I believe that was Yite over there playing by the doorway. It's gonna be Banny dropping it, but uh, Habib gonna be taking down Kryptonite. One less soldier for them to worry about. The Uber does come out from the side of GCI, but Froyo Tech with that 50% Uber at, they don't even have to use yet. I don't even think they plan on it right uh, now. Oh, there we go. Oh, the Uber finally pops. They're chasing them through. Habib gonna be taking down Pop Dog. Nice pipe from the lock. It's gonna be Sin Karma way too close for comfort. His saxophone's gonna bomb him. <laughs> what is Sin Karma doing? He's trying to He's go for the med. Die. Oh no. <laughs> he tried to salvage there, but Hubbard was just baiting like there was no tomorrow. The beat was with him, however, but yeah, no, not great. Sin Karma, six seconds off a of respawn, but Foyo's already knocking on the door. Last saxophone to come through the oh, left saxophone oh, room. Mid air shot pops up Kryptonite. Very nice done. Gun is up, however. So then it's. Replace the Hubbard and dies. Oh. There we go. This is this is what GCI needs. Habib 34 HP. He's long gone. Gungan fighting in the lobby. 52 HP. Now three. Sin Karma gonna steal the kill with the pipes. And Habib is back in the house here. Give him a little bit of pipe tries, tries to see what he can get the lock. Nothing doing. And so GCI gonna take that second point back. Five minutes to go here. And Banny is on spy, but he is out on spy. So here we go. Banny spy. We saw it earlier, but now he's committed, baby. Let's go. Oh, yes, I am on the Banny Spy Cam. He's walking up uh, GCI's valley here. Wait, Dank just died. Yeah, Dank Habib died. Habib just dropped the med. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, way to make Banny just completely obsolete there. Uh, honestly, way to go, dude. You just troll your spy here. Nothing for him to do. The scout doesn't spot him, though. He's going to get a stab on his oh, there we He's going to back out through ramp room. Could be going back down. He might get another kill here on Paul Dog. The changer. Kryptonite, yes. rather. He gets in with an étranger. He's dead forever. He's never respawning. He's going to walk up to the point here. He's just living by the spawn. The rest of the team slowly trickling in. The point getting edged away. Yike taking down Rakuso. And that is going to be Metalworks <laughs> taken by Froyo. Five to zero. Oh, man. J'adore le banni à l'espion. <laughs> Very good. Five to zero for Froyo Tech. Uh, looked like GCI had maybe an inkling of a hope, but uh, it was not meant to be. So yeah, going on to the second map, which is Sunshine. Before we get into that, 
in any stats here to after, just want to remind you that this uh, Fireside Cup is brought to you in part by Manco.store. Uh, allows you to run or join in community RAN giveaways for unusuals, keys, hats, and more. Type exclamation Manco Store and use our affiliate link to join in many giveaways Manco Store has to offer. And also, uh, we have our own thing going on. We have Fireside Memberships. If you want to support us, go ahead and type uh, exclamation subscribe in the chat. Subscribing allows you to support us, but gives you multiple perks as shown on the screen here as we have a little uh, graphic for Pika to show up there. But yeah, much thanks to Manco Store. This would not have been possible without them. They, uh, they put up some money for the prize pool, so we're very grateful for them. But yeah, head into the second map, Sunshine. Uh, actually, no, back up a bit. What'd you think of that? What'd you think of that, Metalworks? Uh, I am a little disappointed that my prediction was not uh, correct. I was hoping to see a 2-4, uh, still for a tech favor, but uh, <laughs> was hoping to see a 2-4 from uh, GCI. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see that, but they did hold their own quite often. I just don't think they were ever really prepared or uh, ready to push in and really defeat the defense that Froyo had set up. Because I think at first Froyo was looking pretty weak, but they uh, finally managed to realize, you know, what's working for them, how they want to play this out, and uh, they adapted basically on the fly. And um, I think that's what's separating Froyo from GCI right now. I think GCI is still a little stuck with how they wanted to play this initially, and they're not adapting to the new form of aggression that Froyo is just kind of throwing at them, where they're just getting pick after pick after pick, and they're still trying to uh, stay in here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, from from what I saw, the first two mids, it looked like uh, Froya was still trying to find their footing against the GCI side. Uh, Habib got locked out early; he was the first to die. So uh, yeah, they they rebounded, but uh, GCI some close uh, last holds, but uh, not a whole lot more than just spectacle. Really, no substance. Five zero the scoreline. You know, not not poo pooing them, but I mean, you know, it just yeah, it looked a lot more uh, in control from GCI at the start. Looking at these stats here. Uh, yeah, 91 kills to uh, GCI is 57. Massive damage. Uh, and uh, yeah, Hubbada dropping 1307 kills a minute compared to Dank's uh, 1174. And uh, oh my yeah, goodness. just, yeah, it, 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 was a, it was a bit of a slow roll, I guess you could say, from Froya Tech. But, you know, new map, new me. We are on Sunshine. Uh, what do you got for this one? Do you think uh, it's going to be a, a 2 0 sweep for, for Froyo Tech? Or do you think GCI has something going here? I, I, I want to believe in GCI. I want to believe that they got something going for him here. I am, you know, I, I'm a believer, but my points are still going on Froyo. I'm a safe better. <laughs> that's that's okay. what I'll say. Fair enough, fair enough. I uh, do think for score, I think we're going to see something probably another probably honestly a 2-4 i think both of these teams yeah. know what they want to do on sunshine i think 2-4 is very much more of a realistic score to have set here let's see here this is gci's pick so uh may maybe maybe some daily at the end of the tunnel there for them uh, as we're just waiting for these teams to join up uh but yeah thanks for tuning in to this fireside cup this is the second day of the group stages here a lot more action to come in the uh weeks ahead so group stages till the end of the week. Friday is a wild card date, should we need it. But uh, for the next two, Wednesday and Thursday, make sure you're tuned in here at the same time, 10.30. Uh, we're getting ready to go on this second map here. It's a two-map thing in the group stages here. And uh, I think we've confirmed it's three points per map. So Froyo taking a pick up three points for their group stage standings on that last map of Metalworks. Actually, I, I closed the brackets. Whoops. Oops. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, as far as predictions, um, I'm just going to be a contrarian and say GCI is going to win it 3-1. Uh, to one. Fair, fair. <laughs> because why not? 3-1 to one seems why to be my go-to prediction score, and it works for me like 60% of the time. So yeah, we are live on CP Sunshine, Royotech versus Global Clan Ice. Going out to the first minute, take it away, my man Zach. I'm going to be on that. I think I'm going to be on the Rakuso Sin Karma Camp. I'm on the Sin Karma Camp, actually. Fair enough. Right now, he's just going to be chilling inside of their choke. Nothing really crazy going to be coming out. It's going to be a lot of spam damage coming on to Sack, though. He's going to have to back up for an air, and it's going to be Paul Dog bombing in, doing a little fade right into the choke. Nice. It's going to be Hubbard dying immediately. It's four 
uh, or sorry, three dead for both teams here. I thought four died, but for some reason, I saw the beeps help drop <laughs> by like 80, and I was like, uh oh, this he's can't dead. be good. Surely he's dead, right? Yeah. <laughs> Surely he dies here, but I guess not. And um, I guess uh, Froyotech gonna have a little bit of a sloppy mid there, but uh, still gonna be able to take that one home and uh, keep it in the bag. If you're GCI though, you really don't have to be playing uh, the way you are. You could absolutely chill. It's gonna be Banny bombing in onto the med. It's gonna be 29 HP on uh, Dank here, but he's gonna manage to get out, barely surviving. Absolutely unlucky if you're Banny there. Yeah, I, I I would expect a bit of a Banny mod. Why don't you guys pressure with me? Guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in on the med. Like, you gotta, you gotta be there. Uh, anyway, Paul Dog gonna be jumping in here, catching out a saxophone on the Tetris. Oh. Arrow misses from Hubbard, almost connecting. Tim Carmen to get that kill, and here we go. GCI coming out with the Uber Vintage. Gonna be cutting off Royotech through Cafe. If they're quick, Shamu looking back for his med, but Hubbard is already back at the shutter here. They do have Uber Vintage to take the second band. He's up on Spy, however. Back behind them, outside Cafe. Oh, they guys get popped off, though. It's Paul Dog. Oh, no. This is horrible if you're GCI. You just used your Uber for one scout, and you, I mean, you kill him, but now Froyotech has full Uber as coming out through lower. Bandy. It's gonna be Kryptonite on the med. Uh, Hubda gonna be living here. No health, or no damage taken, and uh, full Uber. Dank also gonna go down, but it's uh, Shamu trying to pressure this med here, and it's uh, Paul Dog sitting on top of the archway in Valley here, and uh, I think Hubda and his combo are just gonna Ooh. pop to come out through sure. And Nothing yeah, Benny, too crazy going on. Well, Benny got the kill on the on the dank there, uh, helping Hubbard's job be a little bit easier here. Froyotech managing to take back their second, then after a bit of a uh, uh, bit of a uh, mechanical we sort of fight there. We saw Benny spy up as well. He's yeah, he's in still their up. Choke. And an early pop from Hubbard through Valley. Gonna see Hubbard. Oh, or, sorry, Habib. deleted after taking out Shenmu. Indeed, and Sin Karma gonna go down as well on Gungan, and now Dang's gonna be fleeing for his life with nobody to really link up with him. As Froyotech gets the cap down onto the second, Kryptonite collecting an arrow paw dog, locking out the choke. Very nicely done from the soldier there, preventing the roll there, but they're just gonna try to. Mm, they didn't deny really anyone except Demo, which I guess could be enough with these teams here. Absolutely. I think right now we're just gonna be sitting here witnessing a pretty standard Sunshine second hold. Nothing too crazy gonna go on. Probably a couple sack attempts, or at least one, are gonna come out from Froyo. Surely. I think, uh, I think that might be the play here, especially because I think with GCI, they're probably gonna try and meet uh, Froyo here with like super hard aggro. Well, here and we go. As I say, that the Uber gonna be coming out to the cafe, but it's gonna be stuffed by Sax. A nice sticky from Sin Karma, though, sending him into the valley. Vanny gonna go down. They're chasing down oh, Sax. He's gonna die no. too, but not before taking out Dank. Duncan gonna be taking out Sin Karma. Jamu is gonna pick off Sax there. I don't know if I said that already. Paul Dog gonna be taken out by Yike. Duncan gonna be taking out Jamu and Ragusa. And it's just Kryptonite, the lone warrior, bombing into valley. Gonna get taken down by a nice lock pipe from Habib. And yeah, how about it manages to slink away? And Froyotech's already got mid, so they can just keep rolling this on with Pretty massive Uber ad, all things considered, to get that early pressure on and uh, deny the gun here on last. Yeah, that was just a miscalculation, if ever there was one, from GCI. They thought they had Froyotech dead to rights, but they just got collapsed on in Valley with an Uber of their own. Absolutely, and Paul Dog here going to be peeking in through the uh, lower lobby here. Not really going to get uh, much spam damage out of it, but he does know that they are playing top right, so hopefully they uh, move to play around this. The gun is going to get moved over, not quite spammed out. Going to be placed behind the point, or maybe he puts it back right where it was, just denying that spam completely. Uh, it's going to be GCI faking their Uber here. Dank still on 80%. The gun goes down immediately. Habib, nice stick, he's onto it. He's going to be chilling on the right side here, and uh, they're just going to be playing around the point. Habib getting some nice things in behind. It's going to be Banny bombing forward, taking out uh, Shamu with the help of Habib. Habib also going to be taking out Paul Dog there. He's stuck inside of the right spawn. He's going to get taken down by Kryptonite, and it's just an all-out brawl on the point. It's only Habib and... Uh Sorry, it's only Huda and uh, Yite here, basically. He is going to take down Sakarma, though. Yite, the one-man legend, going to kill everyone. <laughs> it's just Dank with 95 Uber, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And um, he's going to take that first round home for Froyo. Yeah, there was a lot of early cap time put up by Gungan. Just, you know, pretty decent Uber fight. Well, Uber versus no Uber, so yeah, Uber advantage push, rather. And uh, yeah, all-out brawl, last point. Yite coming up clutch. Taking out that last surviving soldier, and yeah, first point for Froyotech, five minutes in, coming out to the second mid, Habib taking some early damage. Uh, the rest of GCI going to follow through the choke here, Danks just healing up Sin Karma. Good trade out of the damage here, Saxophone hitting the spam spot from the lower middle. And now just a rotational mid, some early pressure, oh. in from GCI, Paul Dog, 
actually gonna come up empty handed. Oh my lord. Oh no. So it's yeah. TCI here, you're like, I imagine they're like, main caller here is, get out, get out, why are we in? We already lost one. We can't stay. That's two. Kryptonite. For three now, Kryptonite gonna be dying here. I think, oh, Shamu also gonna get caught out. Nice sticky from Habib. Gonna <laughs> slip that right through the shutter. And I mean, right now you got two players on separated spawn waves. It's gonna be Habib pressuring through the left here, getting some nice damage out. A dank on half HP. Gungan gonna be taking out Ball Dog, and it's uh, Saxophone walking up the right side for free. Gungan getting a lot of cap time. The Uber is gonna come out from the side of GCI. Full Uber at 440. They're gonna use right on top of the point here, and it's uh, Kryptonite just bombing around the point, being a general nuisance for Froyo. Not really stopping them from capping the point, though. So much time, and Gungan just gets launched back into the point by I, an explosion I would only assume. I swore he just used his double jump, and um, that's two rounds now for Freya Tech, 2-0. Uh, uh, Zach, I, I don't want to be a pessimist, but I think my 3-1 to one for GCI was a bit optimistic. Well, hold on now, hold on. <laughs> could, GCI can still win. Right. No, There's still I mean, 23 minutes left. Anything's mathematically possible, yes, but uh, Freya Tech You just have to believe. Roya's taking that early positioning on mid here. Sin Karma's all just the completely way caught staff. out. Kryptonite gonna die to Banny here, and they're gonna be backing out GCI all the way into their valley. It's just Paul Dog oh, in. Habib no. taking him down with a lovely pipe. Uh, I mean, I didn't expect to see Habib on the lock and load, but uh, Sin Karma here we pie. are. Oh, Sin Karma. It's not looking great. They're just. This looks like the latter five to seven minutes of the last map we saw just. Not great positioning. A 1v1. Or Kusa wins a 1v1 on mid. So, I mean, hey, there's your small victory. Freya Tech not going to get the forward spawns. Now it's just Saxophone. Actually, three back. Saxophone, Gungan. Kusa's uh, still in behind. Gungan going to be chasing him here. Ah, he but actually he is be, backing away. He That's going to be, so be 5v6 here, on yeah. the second. Oh, Rakusa. Wait, Yite is back here. Oh, I think he just spawned. Never mind. Yeah. That's going to be uh, even Ubers for both teams here. It's just going to be GCI chilling out on last, waiting for their players to get healed. I don't think they want to push out anytime soon. I think they just want to chill out and I honestly switch to heavy at this point. Or if you really want to say YOLO, you could um, throw up a gun and maybe try and get something to work here. Rakusa is still living behind. Going to be walking They're gonna collect choke, him. maybe? Oh, surely they collect him. Banny bombing in, one rocket onto him, and that's gonna be the kill for Banny. Nice little cleanup, or uh, not even cleanup, uh, a little bit of help from Yite there. Some beautiful shots coming out from both players here. And that's, uh, I think that's honestly the catalyst for this last push that uh, Froyo needs. Yeah. I think they just need to get some spam in and they, they would win this. Yeah, if, if it was Super Revenge for Froyo Tech, they could have just continued on uh, without going after Rakuso. But oh, uh, as it stands, he's going nice. to take down, or Habib and Yite are going to take down Kryptonite. Gungan and Benny are going to take down Paul Dog. Yite is going to get taken down a nice pipe from Sin Karma, but Gungan is going to take down Shamu. They don't even have to use Uber here for these picks, by the way. That's one sticky on the dank, and he's going to force. The Uber's definitely going to be way better for Froyo. They don't have to leave here, they just stay in. They right click, and it's going to come out right now. It's going to be Hubbardo right on top of Gungan. So much cap time, the demo getting some stickies onto the point from the right side, but it's going to be not worth because it's going to be Kryptonite bombing in, 80 HP, managing to get a kill, I believe, but it's not quite enough. He's going to back all the way out. Freya Tech down two players, but GCI down three, but their health is so bad for Froyo, but it doesn't matter because it's Yikes, the one-man army on the point with the help of Kryptonite yet again. They, he can't keep getting away with this. He can't. Somebody stop him before he, like, solo caps another two times and makes it 5-0 for Froyo. Holy. Well, to say that Froyo Tech has playmakers uh, would be an understatement. So, yeah, Yite's coming out big. Banny sack. It's, it's, it's just the Froyo Tech power hour, it looks like here. Uh, Habib rolling out through Valley on this fourth mid already at 20 minutes. Kryptonite taking some early positioning on the Tetris. Banny going to counter jump and see him off. And now it looks like a better positional fight for GCI. I think we're waiting Karma. for Saxophone to bomb out through. Uh, there we go. Or, sorry, uh, Cafe here. It looks like he's going to do. He's going to get a little bit of damage. He is going to finish off Kryptonite here. It's going to be two down, uh, three down now. Recuso, Kryptonite, and Sin Karma dead for GCI. Oh, the Lord. health for Froyo is so bad, though. I don't think they can really chase anymore. Oh, no, they they're chasing. Out. Oh, they're, ch they're, they're not giving up. They want them. They want them bad. No, those Explos had all the help they needed to see <laughs> Shenmue and Dank push all the way back to last. And yeah, getting the cap down. Hubbard is showing up with his teammates. And uh, it's looking like another Froyo Tech round, if I do say so myself here. But even Uber, so. We'll see what they can manage. Yeah, 
Absolutely. I mean, it is the even Uber, so I think GCI has a chance to hold this, but Kryptonite going to be dying already. Sin Karma uh, dead, and it's, that's three dead already. Banny and Saxophone going to just be deleting their strain farming at this point. The Uber is going to come out. They're going to have to try and stand on the point and do as much as they can. It's just Shamu. I don't think he's going to be able to do much for uh, it, though. He's going to get knocked off the point. So much body uh, blocking going on, and that is another cap. Uh, you know, at least this time it wasn't a Yite solo cap. <laughs> uh, note to yourself as well, never be a contrarian just to be a contrarian. I, I learned my lesson. <laughs> Can I come you're, home now, please? You're getting punished by CF2 for your <laughs> transgression. <laughs> three to one usually works. I don't know, man. <laughs> ah. Hey, man, sometimes it uh, all falls apart. Zach's yeah. going to be quick right into their choke. One rocket onto the demo. Two rockets. Oh, the my God. He's got the pickaxe out. He's going for Dank, but it's not going to matter. He's, the med is so far back already. Nice rocket from Banny. Going to hit him right in the head. That's Dank sitting on 70 HP on two. Froyo won that min. They didn't even have to try that. I, I don't even think they had to do a mid fight. Oh, my Lord. This is just not great if you're GCI. There's, there's stuff in that cafe, but, I mean, you're only delaying the inevitable. Rotate over from Froyo Tech. Getting their buffs out. Even Ubers, no Ubers in hand, however, but uh, that isn't stopping Bandy coming in huge over the top. Bit of a fade out of the valley. Oh, yeah, they get caught space. out here. It's going to be a kill for GCI. It's going to be a lot of the players bunched up inside of the valley. They're going to have to back out here. You don't have your scout to really deny it. Oh, Sin Karma switching over to the lock. Wait, Sin Sin's on the shield? Oh, dude, he's he's locked in. He's got the lock, oh, and he's Jackson locked in. going to take that trip tonight. Banny going to be playing around the sewer. Or, sorry, around Cafe. Up it's going to be Sin Karma taking out a of the... This cannot be real. The shield play. It's the new meta. Banny going to take down Shamu, and it's going to be Yikes sitting inside of the alley, just trying his absolute <laughs> hardest to take down Dang. But it doesn't matter. They can't stop. The shield, the demo, will be the only one alive for Freya Tech to hold to. I am astonished, to be to be honest. I think astonished is the only word that applies for whatever the hell is going on. I think I think throw would be a good word to use as well from Freya Tech, <laughs> yeah. maybe maybe a bit. Karma gonna be walking forward past on Sticky. He does not care, and uh, so is Rakuso. The entire into the choke, called on, bombing over to the choke, uh, bombing over to Alley, saxophone getting caught, penciled up into the air by the body block, Khabib gonna be chased out as well, the Uber does come out from the side of GCI though, so if you are Froyo, you don't even have to worry about the Uber coming in to your last, but I don't think it matters because they just have so many players, it's gonna be Paul Dog sitting on bridge, gonna bomb oh. over to the left side, Kryptonite gonna come in from the right, the charge came through, I heard it's the crowd booing because he didn't get the melee hit and that's going to be Paul Dog dying on uh, behind the point here Rakuso living by the point but he's not going to get any time for it Gungan going to take him down and that's going to be Froyo Tech's view to push out onto second I don't think they know about Kryptonite hiding close though they finally spot him no damage really onto anybody on the Froyo oh team the I mean yeah. what is happening I, I don't know oh man. Karma. Yeah, that, that looked like it was GCI's to win there, but the spawns are weird. And now Broyo on the on the front foot pushes through. Oh, Benny gonna be died. so low. They have Rakuso on Sniper, so I believe um, they can't really afford. I don't even think they could offlast anybody else. If they end up getting shoved all the way to last, and um, if things go really bad for him, they have Rakuso up, and he can't get out. They can't build a gun here. Yeah, no, a lot of the fear factor for Froyotek is gone just because Sin Karma has no stinky traps so they can pretty much walk through free even with the soldiers bombing like Paul Dog. Kryptonite coming in now, but so is Banny. He sees the two soldiers there, gets down before he gets got, but actually Rakuso has something to say about that. So now down one, GCI. And Habib's just straight up chilling on the choke there. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit of a skirmish going on in the valley here. It's going to be Rakuso taking down Yite. Not quite strong enough to take down the scout with the pocket. And it's Ooh. also full oh, dang getting an arrow kill onto Sax as Shamu takes down Gungan. Four dead for Froyo Tech. The I, I am think, not I think... entirely sure the thought process going on for Froyo there, but Banny coming up on the sniper. They are down a soldier for this. Oh. He takes down the Rakuso. He is probably going to get traded out for this. Oh. Maybe not, though. He's in the cafe. Ooh, the Uber pop. comes in. It's in Karma with the melee out during the Uber. The exchange happening in the choke. It's way better for Froyo Tech. It's in Karma caught forward. One pipe, two pipe down. Yeah, you're going to pick him off. The soldier, uh, Kryptonite here, going to be living inside a cafe. 14 HP is going to get picked <laughs> off by Yite, though. Caster's curse. I said he lived and he died. That's five dead. 
for GCI. Benny's still on Sniper, though. The Sniper play from Macuso also coming up. He's just observing Cafe, I believe. The Observer has uh, been activated. They can just walk through the choke. No fear here. Habib immediately deleting Rakuso. No chance for him to even get out there. Paul Dog win for that back spawn. I mean, there's nothing to do if you're GCI here. I mean, actually, I guess there is because you're down a soldier uh, for your tech here. Now you're down a scout okay. as well. I'm going to get taken down by Sin Karma. A little revenge kill uh, for Sin Karma here. And uh, I guess they're just relying on Banny here to try and get a pick. Well, I'm just saying, man, Sin Karma... He fears because he switched back to sticky, so you know. <laughs> lost, lost some cred with me. I'm not gonna lie. He didn't commit to the shield. He bits. didn't commit to the bit. No, <laughs> exactly. Can't believe this. But Looks like they're probably gonna work Benny bit. on the uh, yeah. left side here. I mean, he hasn't died yet. No reason for him to switch off. Woo! That's gonna be Paul Dog down. Nice shot from Benny. They are gonna Uber into the point. The gun is gonna get spammed now. One HP on that gun. He's, it's getting healed though. They don't get the gun. The Uber is over. It's Uber had for the side of GCI. 98, 99. They're gonna use here immediately. They use on that point. That's gonna be two down. One side of four attack. They're gonna have to get out through uh, lobby here. The Cruz are just gonna okay. give chase and they're finally gonna get out. Gun gonna, gonna go down last second uh not quite able to leave Banny just staying in as fodder here trying to get as much damage as possible almost taking down shamu but uh shamu finally locked in and was able to hit those shots and uh does eventually finally take down Banny, and he can go back to playing soldier and we don't have to watch highlander anymore yeah really but uh kryptonite making a move through cafe oh no an unknowing Pavita manages just just by the grace of god just, just avoid that and hides behind the shack there, because otherwise Krypton I would have had his man. But uh, as it stands, Hubbard is sitting with about a 30% oh, revenge pop. popping Habib through. through. Paul Dog caught in the shutter. Yai going to pick up Sin Karma. Habib stone at that, surfing up the stairs. It's a pipe on to Dank, but he will escape to the shutter with very low health. But the rest of Proyotech flooding in the last as the cap goes down on the second point. Sax is going very low. Managing to live with 10 HP here. Finally gets arrowed. Cap time coming out onto the last point. It's going to be Gungan getting so much time for his team. But the Uber is going to come out for GCI. They're flashing so many players, though. It's a family Uber. And I, I think right here, honestly, if you're Froyo, you just have to walk back in. Surely. I, I mean, if ever there was a team to go for the recommit with the aggression, it's Froyo Tech. And it seems like they're working position. Sin Karma almost caught out of here. Down goes Shamu. Shamu. Oh, Sin my Karma's God. Sin Karma's really going to die here as well. He's, he's cut off. The stickies are denying him. Juggled by the soldier here, but he's not quite going to die. The health is really, really bad for uh, Banny and Yite here. They need to get some packs or some arrows. Looks like Banny's going to opt for the pack. They're finally getting some more cap time. Yeah, Gungan is going to take home Sunshine for uh, Froyo Tech. 5-0 on both maps here. 2-0 uh, map score for Froyo. I mean... Yeah. Just like that, it's, it's it's like I said, it's sort of like a slow roll, but then just all at once. All at once. I mean, uh, let's take a look apparently, at these. Apparently, as yeah. well, um, Hobbit all lagged out during the last fight, <laughs> so Froyo just full sent it uh, straight into them with no beam. <laughs> I, I can I can relate. There have been plenty of uh, an Uber or a last push where it's just like, oh, I didn't even need me. Just fragged out. Whatever. Screw it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you didn't need your 300? I'm you... just sitting here drinking my water while you got it. <sighs> yeah. You just sit and spawn, kick your feet up on your desk, pull out the pull out a nice cold drink, just take a couple sips. What, a real life rancher of Alaxo? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. If you if you end up in a situation like they just ended up in, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could do that. <laughs> uh, what else could they do? Yeah, looking at these stats here. Uh, GCI, 43 kills. Froyotech, you know, 71. Just, you know, just, just 28 more kills. No big deal. Um, yeah, 5,000 damage more. Even Uber charges. But, uh, yeah, that was, like I said, the Froyotech uh, power hour. Just coming in hot, getting six points for their group stages there, and uh, yeah, making it look easy like they tend to do. Absolutely. No real surprise there. I like I said, I was optimistic with my three. I just wanted to pretend. It's fun to pretend sometimes, you know. It is very unfortunate uh, looking at the DPM as well. I mean, yeah. Start contrast. We got Sax over here, two thirty-seven, and the only other combat class one sixty for the other soldier. I mean, it's it's unfortunate. I mean, games like that happen, so can't uh, do too much. All right. So that said, uh, 
we're going to try and wrap this up here really quickly. We do have uh, G6 versus, I believe, regular Global Clan mm -hmm. happening on uh, Essentials. So uh, we're going to send you guys all the way over there. Ignore my chair. Freakiest chair in the world. <laughs> Holy moly. Um, <laughs> but before we send you over, once again, we'd like to thank Manco.store for putting up some money to help make this possible. Uh, if you're looking to cash out your TF2 backpack for money, use Manco.store, marketplace for TF2 items that allows you to easily sell your items for very low fees. Join many others and sell your items today by typing exclamation Manco store and use our affiliate link. And also, if you would like to be a Fireside member, type exclamation subscribe. Subscribers have access to VIP badges on all of our Twitch channels, unreleased and uncut content, production guides, and early access to upcoming videos. And with that, uh, we'd like to thank you for joining us. I've been number one rocker, joined by Zach, of course, with Peak on Production. Keep it locked. We've got G6 and uh, GC coming up soon. And join us for the rest of the week and the week after that for more Fireside Cup. Good night.